Hey guys, I have my setup video for December in my bullet journal. As you guys saw, I put a little emoji vinyl on the cover of my Loistrum, and I just love seeing him there every time I look at my bullet journal. Anyways, I just lettered in December 2018, and of course I made a mistake, I wrote Denver. It would not be a Helen video if I did not misspell something. When I'm lettering, I am always hyper-focused on the strokes and the pressure that I put down, so I often misspell words if I'm using my brush pen. Then, like last month, I am just drawing in all of the boxes. I really do like the hand-drawn look, and hopefully you guys don't mind because I don't really see myself changing up this format anytime soon. So for December, I decided to go with a purple theme, and I have no idea why I did. I think I do mention this later in the plan with me as well, but I think I should have gone with either a blue theme to represent like winter snow, or I should have gone with either green or red for Christmas. But yeah, when I was choosing the colors, I was just feeling purple, and I totally forgot that Christmas was in December, and it is also the first day of winter in December, so... Yeah, the colors this month just didn't really coordinate. I do still really like the purple though. Um, so I just put down some swatches for the days of the week and also a blob on each of the boxes to make space for the numbers. And then after writing everything in, I'm also going to use some washi tape from my shop and also Simply Gilded to jazz up the spread. So while I do that, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support during Black Friday weekend. I am seriously so grateful for your support. It's just really weird to think about how if I had not stumbled across this planning community, then I probably would not be attending university in Toronto right now. I don't know. It's just weird to think about how like every little thing that you do does affect your future in some way. But yeah, the point is, thank you guys so much for everything and even just like words of encouragement. Just know that I really, really do appreciate you guys. And yeah, enough with the savvy stuff. So we are going to fill out this monthly spread together. Um, I do have my Google Calendar here with me just in case. I'm going to start by marking in three of my final exams. The first one is on the 10th. I'm going to use these post-it note stickers from my shop. Um, and I'm just going to put that here. The gel pen that I always use is the Muji in 0 0.5. My next final exam is exactly a week later, and it is for financial counting. Um, and this one isn't as important, so I'm not going to use a sticker for this. I'm just going to write this in. And then my next final exam is on the 20th, and before I put that in, I do want to use my flight tracker. These are from my shop, and... Um, I think I might just want to put this in between the 20th and the 21st. So I'm going to use my whiteout just so that the black lines don't really show through the sticker. And stick that right there. So I just filled out my information and now I know that I only have this little space to write in my final exam. Okay, so we have that done, and then going back to the 7th, it is our last day of class, so it is, of course, very exciting. Um, I am going to take this happy emoji to mark in that it is, oops, it is our last day of class. So I'm just going to stick that there, and I do want to bring in some more purple, so I will just make some swatches. So then, of course, I want to mark in Christmas, and these are the stickers from my shop, but I am struggling a bit because I have no idea why I chose purple as this month spread colors because I think I should have gone with red or green. Um, I actually think I will hold off on these and instead use these reindeer onesie emojis, and of course, the tan does not really go with the purple, but um, it is a bit more pastel, so I think it kind of works, so... I am just going to put that on the 25th, of course. Okay, I think that's actually really cute. Um, and then I do want to mark in New Year's Eve. And I don't know if I should use another emoji or if I should just draw it in. So I seriously cannot believe that 
there we go the last day of class is on the 7th um which means the semester is already over it feels like yesterday i just landed here and just starting university and everything it just went by so quickly and i have a feeling the next four years is only going to go by even quicker so but yeah that's just a little reminder to you know sort of live in the moment and not keep getting stressed about everything um and then on the fifth i am going to be using i think one of these party time emojis to mark in that our spanish class wants to throw a little mini get together with our spanish tutorial ta um his name's ross um i'm 99.9% .9 sure he doesn't watch planner videos but yeah he is just the best ta that i've ever had he's super positive and we want to throw him a little party so i'm just gonna mark that in okay and then i want to mark in winter break so i'm gonna draw in a series of lines that was kind of a fail, but we will keep going. Okay, so I think that is all I can mark in for now. Eventually, I will have it all filled out as we get closer to December. But for now, I think this looks pretty good. Um, we are going to, I think, do the bottom bar. So I just want to show you guys how the mood tracker for last month turned out. This is my mood tracker for November. Um, and I think it turned out really well. We are on the 25th right now, so obviously I haven't finished it. But I think we're going to do the same thing, but over here. So right now I'm just drawing in the mood tracker and for me personally, I really suck at filling out trackers. That is why I'm like a lot of other people who use the bullet journal, I don't really make a ton of habit trackers. I just find that I use it for like three days max and then I forget about it for the rest of the month, which is definitely not the purpose of the habit tracker. I think I need a habit tracker to track when I fill out my habit trackers. But yeah, anyways, I really did enjoy filling out my mood each day last month. It is something that I could keep up with and it's really easy to do before bed. And yeah, I really wanted to do it for this month as well. Then I'm just lettering in my monthly goals. Um, one of them is to pull zero all-nighters for final season. I did pull one for one of my midterms and definitely not good. I felt like a zombie, so I definitely don't want to do that again. Um, and then I did leave some space for some other goals. Then underneath, I'm just lettering in some of my new release ideas. And later, I'm going to draw in a light bulb. I had someone asking me how long it usually takes for me to design every set of new releases. Basically, I like to work on several things at the same time, so I might be drawing emojis for five different new release sets and it usually takes me about a month collectively. I don't know, I get bored working on the same thing, so I like to do several things at once. Then right now, I'm just making space for my monthly reflection, kind of like a diary, but I only have to fill it out once a month. And then moving on to the next page, I am making my monthly spending tracker. It is the same thing as last month. I have a slot for the date, the place, the amount, and also whether if it's a need or want. So yeah, that is basically it for this setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for everything, for watching my content, for commenting, for purchasing. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!